Oh, hey, La Beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. For those of you new to the channel, I'm B, and on this channel, we help improve your confidence by way of compliments using the wonderful world of fragrance. If this is your second video or more, we ask that you hit the subscribe button so you can come back to rock with your boy. Today, I have a nice review for you. Yes. A review of a nice fragrance, a fragrance that I am super excited to bring to you because, well, it is dope. Now listen, I had this fragrance within my collection for about two, maybe two and a half weeks or so, and it's been an enjoyable journey. Full disclosure, let me tell you, the fragrance comes from the house of Ormond Jane, and I have zero relationship with anyone there. However, this bottle was sent to me for review by the good people over at Twisted Lily. All right, you guys know I have a partnership with them where we pair up fragrances. You can purchase them, to ship directly to your door, and you can smell like uh, something I curate. All right, let me tell you about this fragrance here. They sent me a list of fragrances. Not really. It's not how I went at all. I want to make sure I'm not lying to you. <clears throat> they said, hey, you looking for anything to review? And I said, and eh, what you got? They said, we send you some suggestions. And this was one of the fragrances there. I looked at the note breakdown and the note breakdown had me intrigued. And I said, hey, shoot me that one and I'll be happy to try it out. All right, try is the key word there. Now, <clears throat> I have this fragrance here. And let me tell you, this thing is masterful. All right, so as I mentioned, this fragrance comes from the house of Ormond Jane. I've never, from what I can think about, talked about this fragrance house on the channel for review. Like we've, we've talked about them before, but never for a review. The fragrance is called Exandria. Now this fragrance, from my understanding, is part of a trio of fragrances, right? They had three fragrances here, and I think they released in 20. 20 to be technical however uh here in the u.s they're just beginning to get these fragrances in and twisted lily are one of the first people to get this fragrance and they figure hey why not discuss it well that's what i figured once i got my nose on it so as i mentioned i was really like intrigued by the note breakdown here and in the note breakdown you got uh rum you got apple and you also got rosewood in the top and then if you go into the mid of this fragrance you had some cinnamon and you also had tonka bean and then in the base here you had some earthy accord you also had some musk you had some dry amber just to name a few here is your distribution just in case you were wondering about it there you have it all right as i mentioned this fragrance um is a fragrance that i've been blown away with so if you just want to know if i liked it or not the, well there you go all right you can exit the video now but hopefully you stay around and hear a little bit more about the scent so as you saw i just sprayed this fragrance and on first spray this thing comes off as something that i personally find to be magical all right i think that's the proper word for this all right so um as i mentioned top notes here rum um you also have apple and you also have some rosewood the rum and the apple here come together in such an amazing way and then that rosewood boom pops there but i also get some of that cinnamon right right at the top boom the cinnamon is there and it provides something that is just mouth-watering uh, breathtaking and again magical all right I think this fragrance is is super dope it's one of these fragrances that I sprayed on and I was like whoa yeah they got this one right I'm not sure who the perfumer is behind this fragrance I guess I could have done that research right but I'm bringing you this raw raw uncut <laughs> all right? this thing is just uh, really really enjoyable so they said this fragrance was really supposed to bring this nostalgic feel to th the world of perfumery and if i'm thinking about what this fragrance smells like um you know notes i gave them to you first spray here i get something that smells exotic right i've mentioned magical uh this fragrance does smell sexy this is a unisex scent for sure through and through i could see that a man wearing this fragrance getting compliments a woman wearing this fragrance getting compliments and anything in between wearing this fragrance getting compliments because it's really just that good this is a fragrance that i wanted to smell over and over and over again so i did just that i wore this fragrance back to back to back and then i sprayed this fragrance on again to go to sleep i sprayed this fragrance on multiple times because hey it's really 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 nice here all right so um let me talk about some of the opening here right so as i mentioned that that cinnamon comes in just 
snaps and is like, hey, come here, I am here, all right? And that Tonka bean there provides almost this almondy sweetness there and the rum and the apple rosewood, really nice, right? As you kind of go from there, you go into the dry down, that magical feel still stays there, but it also has this earthiness that kind of gives it a little, hmm, you know, stick your chest up a little bit, right? Head up, chest out, boom! You're feeling confident and you can strut like don't strut around like a like a peacock or something because you'll look weird all right but you can strut and feel like yeah i am king okay you could do that <clears throat> don't don't run around beating your chest all right people gonna think you're weird all right uh listen um soft sensual dry all right uh, but i feel this one is soft sensual magical that's my words on this scent, okay? Um, listen, I've, I'm not too familiar with a ton of the Ormond Jane fragrances here, right? But from what I can tell you, with this scent here, Exandria, yeah, this thing is right on the money. And actually right on time as well, as you think that we'll be quickly transitioning into fall and then winter. And this one falls right in line to a fragrance that should be worn during those cooler, colder days and or nights because I find this fragrance to be sensual, it's sexy, it's intriguing, and it's different. All things that are good recipes for that close encounter situation. Could you wear this one to the office? Yeah. Is it best suited for the office? No. This one is best suited for that date night, special encounter, day date, whatever you want to call it. Cuddle buddy, Netflix and chill, Disney and chill, Disney plus and yeah okay it's good for all of that for sure now performance right let's talk about that now we talk about some of these notes here you got that amber right that dry amber you got that rosewood you got that tonka you got that cinnamon here um all notes and that rum right all notes that could be strong right all notes that could come off as off-putting but the way these fragrances are done or this fragrance specifically because there's three that i think they released um don't have to worry about it, all right? Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. This fragrance is uh, really, really dope. Um, again, uh, best for the office, no. But could you wear it to the office? Yeah, you could. You could. Office party, you know? But be careful in the office, rocking the scent, because it's sexy, all right? And you, you don't want to get in no trouble with HR wearing this fragrance now in the office here, all right? So make sure that you proceed to wear this fragrance with caution. All in, it's a fragrance that I would recommend over and over again. Would this one make a fall and or winter list? Likely. It will likely make a fall and winter list because it's just that nice, all right? Um, I have no reason to tell you anything real here, man. Um, if you know anything about me, you know what I like. You know I like gourmand fragrances. I like fragrances that are sweet. I like fragrances that are sensual. This fragrance isn't really sweet, right? It has that tonka bean there, right? Provides a subtle, subtle hint of sweetness, but nothing that would be like anything that that's going to be too crazy, all right? A black phantom is sweeter than this, um, to an extent. All right, this fragrance is is nice. Mula Mula, much more sweeter than this, um, but Exandria is a win now listen don't judge a fragrance by its bottle all right or the box here let me give you a cut out of the box now the box here kind of reminds me of the rihanna rihanna now the box here just reminds me of the rihanna fragrance that we just reviewed right so pull out always pull out all right <laughs> <laughs> and then you also get a cutout of the fragrance there, all right? And we saw that in the Rihanna fragrance of the cutout, but just didn't have this extra piece. But there you have it, okay? Um, the fragrance here has this orange hue to it. Could look feminine, all right? It's uh, ombre. But what I'll tell you about this, I think this fragrance matches, all right? If I'm thinking of um, spices, I think desert, right? If I'm thinking of you know well spices i'm thinking desert <laughs> all right and that's kind of what i get here to my, my mind when i think of what this fragrance smells like it looks like this all right now obviously this kind of helps complete the picture there but i think that's going to have this um really uh sensual feel to it 
you won't be upset about this fragrance for sure. Uh, one that I'm going to recommend with confidence that you're going to get compliments on this thing. Man or woman alike, you, you, you're good to go there. Okay. Um, only things I could tell you about this fragrance is go overall performance projection. Um, it projects good for the first hour and a half, two hours or so. Right. And then it begins to really find its place and settle down further. Um, it gets closer into the skin, allows for that scent bubble, sillage and scent trail to really project really come into to what it should do all right really come into the fold um if listen if you want to leave an impression on someone that's a fragrance to grab all right it has almost this uh middle eastern feel to it to an extent um but it's subtle subtle slightly sweet sexy for sure i'm stamping it all right, that's my thoughts and opinions on this fragrance. I would love to know if you have tried this fragrance, are you looking forward to it? Obviously, if you wanna try this one out, just click the link down below, um, check out the discount codes. They will be sure to hook you up or you can check out anything else they have because Twisted Lily is, is a great company. So they, they kind of run, they run the game when it comes down to that. If you know, you know, if you don't, now you know. All right, this is also in the box here, gives you just a detailed breakdown of the fragrance, right? Gives you the notes here rum rosewood apple I already mentioned these to you musk um you know earthy accord etc the earthy accord may have some patchouli there it's said to be sensual um no it doesn't say it's sensual at all <laughs> i'm saying it's sensual um it does say sensual there's tranquility there as well peaceful all right you're gonna get all that with this fragrance i enjoy it let me know what you think about it don't forget to like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again and you already know what i need you to do just hit the gap damn